Hey everybody, uh, this is Mark from Hostfully and I'm going to demonstrate how to restrict access to your guidebook using our new feature, Secure Links. Um, for the purposes of this video, I am just going to show you how to secure the entire guidebook and then I'll get into more detailed examples later. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a new guidebook just for example, secure only. Um, I'm going to put it wherever, put it Chicago I guess and then scroll all the way down and save and publish just for example so here's my very very blank guidebook but i just wanted to get it to the point where there's a link and this is the normal link that you would send out to your guests um, i'm going to create an incognito window so i can view it kind of outside of the host interface and view it as a guest board go ahead Open the guidebook, there it is. It loads just like you would expect. Oh, it looks like there's a flood warning in Chicago. That's not great. Um, so there it is. Um, I'm gonna keep this window open for now, but I'm gonna go back and turn on this feature. So, to restrict access to the entire guidebook, you just open up the guidebook and scroll down to the settings section where there is a new section here that says secure access. Do you want to restrict access to this guidebook? And you just click this to yes and then you save. So now that this has been turned on, if I go back to our other tab here where the guidebook is loaded by a guest and I refresh they're going to get this notice that says, you're not authorized to view this guidebook. So there we go. The regular guidebook link no longer works. And you can now set up secure links for this guidebook. And only someone accessing the guidebook with this link can view it. So to set up a secure link, you go to your new menu option on the left here. Let me expand this. It says secure links and just like any of the other sections here on my own my own self is in the way here let me go click to add a new one and just like a lot of our other cards we have this kind of internal label field that lets you helps you keep track of which one is which um, so I, my suggestion for these would be to do something where, uh, you know, this is uh, Joe Smith is going to be visiting and he's here from September 9th through September 20th. Just do whatever you want in your label to help organize your links. Um, in some cases, there could be many, many of these, and it'd be nice to be able to filter and find the one you're looking for really quickly. So this label can be really helpful for that. Then you choose which guidebook this link is going to be for. It's the new guidebook I set up called Secure Only. You also have the guidebook key here, so you can keep things. Uh, you can tell which one is which if your titles are really similar for some. Then you also set, specify a start and end date for this link. I'm going to go ahead and use this fake check-in and check-out date that I set up, September 10th, 9th through September 20th. It defaults to uh, a week. Um, but you can change it to be anything you want. And if you wanted, you could create a secure link for that works for years that's kind of generic and you can send that one out to people that you want to allow to view your guidebook and then if you need to you can uh, you can always disable the link later if, uh, if you want to make a new one and you want the old one to stop working you can change the dates you can change and you could just completely disable it as well I'm gonna leave this to turn to yes because I want it to work 
And I'm also, for now, going to ignore this section about adding guest data to the link. But that's pretty cool, and we will go through that in a separate video. I'm going to go ahead and save this token, and you'll see it show up in the list now. Joe Smith, September 9th through September 20th. And you now have a new secure URL here. And this, you click to copy it, this URL now should allow us to view the guidebook, even though it's been restricted. Move myself back down here. And then I'm going to paste that new link in here. You'll notice it's basically the same link, but then it has this little bit on the end. Paste that in here, and voila, guidebook works. And what happens, you'll no notice that even after this has been loaded, once the guest has used that secure link, it sets a cookie in the background, so they don't need to set it every single time. Um, so once that device has accessed it using a secure link, it, it kind of locks in that secure link in there. They'll always just be able to use the the main link. Um, that way we don't have to keep passing that link around everywhere in internally. But that's it. That's how you can restrict access to your guidebook. Um, you just for complete example, I'm going to take the basic link again, open up a new fresh incognito window that doesn't have the cookie, and paste that in, and you'll see that Oh, gotta exit incognito and then make a new one. And there we go. It is, this is essentially a new user viewing it and they used the regular link and it didn't load. So that's an effectively secured guidebook. Um, once that expiration date that you set in your link has passed, the secure link that you sent to your guest will no longer work um, as well. So hopefully you will enjoy this feature um, and please reach out with other questions. There will be some more videos in a series about these links on some more advanced topics coming up. Thank you.